Hello guys, I hope that you are fine. In the previous tutorial, uh, we added some functionalities to this calculator, and in this tutorial, we will be working on the uh, backspace button, clear button, and we'll add some more functionalities. So let's get started. So here, uh, so here in the on click method, I have to check if the back, um, backspace button is clicked. Else, if v dot get id. equal to r dot id dot backspace so if the backspace button is clicked we have to check let me launch the application calculator so we have to check if the user has entered any value here so for that purpose we have to check if ed result dot get text dot to string dot equals and at the start we we have to add the exclamation mark which which say which alters this so now it means that if the result is not equal to nothing so then have to uh, so it means that there is something entered by the user so we have to get the value from the ed username uh, ed uh, result dot get text dot to string now we have the value from here into this variable value now we have to check its length if value dot length is greater than zero then do what then value is equal to value dot substring now we are using substring method the second one beginning index 0 and substring not substring value dot length minus 1 so now what this method will do is that it will minus each time this method is uh, uh, the backspace button is called it will minus 1 1 uh, so um, character from this value and now we have to assign this uh, value to the uh, ed user uh, ed result ed result dot set text dot set text uh, and pass it value and now let's run our application So calculator is launched this backspace button will not work because here we have checked if the value does not equals to nothing so now the value there is nothing so the backspace button will not work so if we enter some value here now it means that there is something so take the value from this value will now be uh, available in the value variable when I click backspace so, uh, I think it's not working. Why? Let me check if we have added the btn subtract, btn pictorial. We have not added btn back dot set on click listener. We have not added the listener to this. So, now let's rerun the app. The app is uh, relaunched, and now if I click the backspace button, it's working. One by one, it's erasing the value. Now, if you want to uh, disable the sound of these buttons, so all you can do is btn back dot set sound effect enabled and pass it false, and also btn one dot set sound effect enabled and false. And you can do this for all the buttons as we have done the connect the, the listener here so like this you can do you can uh, disable the sound effect if I launch now the uh, my application so you can see that we have only disabled the sound effect on the uh, btn back and btn one so all other buttons will provide uh, will pronounce the sound will provide the sound or will generate the sound except the backspace button and the one button so if I click it it's generating the sound if I press the backspace 
it's not generating the sound. If I press 1, it's not generating the sound. So, now we will work on, let me quiet this. Now we will work on the clear button. So for that purpose, here, else if v dot get id is equal to r dot id dot uh, btn clear i think so it was clear yeah clear so all you have to do here is to pass id result dot set text and make the text to this double quotes now if i run my application so the application is launched Now if I write anything and press the big press, it is erasing it one by one, but if I press the clear, it's erasing, uh, erasing it at once, but it's not working. And it's because that we have not added the listener, so btn clear dots not here, but here, btn clear dot set on click listener, this. And now let's launch this application. And now if I press the clear button, it works.